Hi gang, so a quick workout for your shoulders and your back, strengthening it out. So you're gonna need two of these looped bands, different resistance, one slightly lighter, one slightly heavier. If you haven't got one of those, don't worry. I'm gonna pop a link um, down here. Um, so do scroll down and click onto it and then you can buy yourself or some, really cheap. Um, and they have multi-functions. So we're gonna use several videos around these and you can strengthen the body. They're great to take on holiday as well, actually. So we're gonna start just with a light warm up. So just roll the shoulders, pressing out, just starting to mobilize. Maybe bringing your hands to your shoulders and driving the elbows wide. Try and keep the ribs in. And then reach the arms out to the side and just find tiny pulses. So you're activating through the back now as if you're drawing back and down, squeezing the ribs in and keeping the spine super tall. Just keep breathing there, pulsing, and then roll it forward, roll it back a couple of times again. Interlace your fingers, just push the shoulders back, tuck in your chin. So notice the spine often it looks up, try and find this length as you push the shoulders back. And then just breathing here. So one more breath just there. And we're gonna work straight into the resistance band. If you feel like your body needs anything else before you go for it, then do take, take that. Lighter band to start with. So we're gonna be working through the shoulder blades. Push fists down and squeeze the arms nice and long. Now you want a little bit of tension between the band. Try and get your palms facing towards each other as opposed to down to begin with. We reach the arms out and in, out, and in. So the body might like to cheat and it does that by bending the arms as you bring it out and in. See if you can keep your arms really long as you push out and in. So really working through the front of the chest, the back of the shoulders as well. And then notice the hands. Do they come down here as you get tired or can you keep them in line with the shoulders? So we push out and in, out and in. And you're not here too much longer. So we're squeezing four more, three, Two, hold it out, tiny pulses, squeeze, squeeze. So we lift it out, we breathe. We just lift out the body. Four, three, two, hold. Now just bring it down, just roll the shoulders for a second, open out the body, reset. This time palms face down, so you might grab inside the band or underneath, completely up to you. Lock out your arms, push through the shoulders, press the shoulders back. Now circle the left hand down, and up. So it's like you're driving or like you're creating a wheel of a car, that shape. So we're circling down and up. Now what the body will want to do is this right hand will want to move down and up as you bring it down. So you just keep it stable and in place. And you're working that shoulder just by supporting it the whole time as you find those circles. And try not to sink into the feet, lift out the body as you squeeze here. So how big a circle can you create? See if you can keep the fist down on the left side the whole time as you breathe here. One more. Lift the arm up, now pulse, pulse. So again, just this left arm pulses, not the bottom arm like this. Hold it there, push the shoulders back. You've just got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Reach it down. Bring the shoulders a big roll just to open out. And we reset, we go the other side. So keep the left arm in line with shoulder, bring the right arm down and up. So we're creating that fist, we're finding those circles. And we draw up and down as we squeeze here. Try and keep that fist really strong. How big a circle can you create whilst this arm on the left side stays still? So we draw in the ribs and we lift out of the lower body. Just thinking about pushing through the feet and tucking in the chin and the crown of the head. You've just got two more. One more. This time, hold it up. Hold that left hand there and then pulse the top arm. So you squeeze and you're just having to hold your body still. And sometimes that's the hardest part. Keep pressing the fist down if you can as you squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release it down. Reach the arms up, up to the sky, press the palms to me. So we draw the ribs in, bring the right elbow down, lift it up, bring the left elbow down. So we're now we're really working through the shoulders and the back here. We're pushing down and up. And notice my wrist, right? Lots of the time I see this in class. 
try to keep your fists to the sky, pressing it down and pushing it up so that the wrists are getting just as strong. And it's up to how heavy your resistance is. Try and draw the elbows in as you squeeze here. So we're trying to get it as low as we can in the body whilst bringing the elbows out. And I can show you from the side if it helps you. Just notice the elbow draws down and we push back up. So we're not drawing forward, we're not drawing all the way back. It just comes out and up. So keep that going, just moving side to side. This next one, hold it there, tiny pulses. Again, it's just the right arm, the left arm stays there. Four, three, two, lift it up, release other side. So we squeeze, you're not here long, keep breathing. Four, three, two, lift it up and then release it down. So hands come in line with the shoulders, push the shoulder blades back, squeeze the elbows wide, then press back into the fist. So we push it wide and we draw in. So try and keep the fist super long, so we press back. And as you extend both arms, see if you can keep the hands in line with the shoulders or a little bit wider, so there's tension there. We squeeze it back, we draw it forward, two more. This next one, hold it back and pulse, squeeze, squeeze. Keep drawing the elbows high, try not to let them drop like this as you press. Four, three, two, one. Extend your right arm, keep your left hand there. Keep breathing and then tiny pulses. Draw the left arm back as you squeeze. So the palms are facing down. This wrist is really strong at the front. I'll show you from the side. So we keep drawing the elbow back as we squeeze. Four, three, to extend it forward, reach the other arm back and keep it in line with the shoulder, then you add your pulses. So pushing here as we breathe. And keeping the spine upright as we lengthen. Four, three, two, extend again, switch sides. Four, three, two, extend, switch sides. Four, three, you've only got two more each side, so we lengthen. Four, three, keep this right hand in line with the shoulder. Try not to let it come in as you get tired. Keeping the elbow high, one more each side, squeezing. Last one. And release it down, rolling the shoulders, just opening out. Okay, now we work onto the back. So you do want to go a little bit heavier. If you've only got one resistance band, then maybe staying with that. Hook it towards your left foot. So it's underneath the foot. And then we stand up nice and tall. So we hinge from the hips. The hands come down the thighs and then you push back up. So pressing back and up. So try not to do this, rounding the body forward. Keep the shoulder blades back and down. You might need a soft bend in the knees as you hinge the hips back. So it just depends on your hamstring um, flexibility. Just allow yourself to bend a, bend a bit more than myself if you need it, but try and keep your palm there, it's like a deadlift. And now we add a row. So we extend through the body, we bend the elbow, get your palm towards your ribs, bring it down, and then you extend it up. So you push down, you draw the elbow in, you extend back, and you push it up. So keep that going. I'll show you from the front as well. So keep the elbow close to your body. Try not to drive it out to the side. And if you want more, you can always grab two bands and place it underneath your feet. So let's just go a little bit faster. Down, up, press, lift. Down, up, press, lift. Two more. Keep squeezing there. On this next one, hold it there. Elbow stays close and then you pulse. So we squeeze here. This is how we finish off the back. So make sure the hands are here, not down here. You wanna squeeze the shoulder and brace through the body. Tucking in the chin when you've got that. Just got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, extend, lift, and then replace. Other side, final side. So smooth down, smooth up, and we find that deadlift. So the hand is just grazing up and down the thighs, and you're pushing the hips back, and then sending the hips forward, and try and squeeze the shoulder blades back. So the whole of the posterior chain, that means the back of your body, is a bit more engaged as you rise and lower. Two more. And then we're gonna add on with your row. So send the hips back, bring the elbow up, 
extend and then push your feet down go again so we push back we draw it up we extend and we reach it back up and this is your last bit in your workout with me today short and sharp right so make every single movement count how slowly can you move can we squeeze it in now we're going to pick up the pace but keep that tension down up back in down up back in. So the opposite hand can do whatever it wants. I like it on my hip because it checks that my hips are square. If you prefer it out to the side, you can have that. If that helps you, just squeeze the shoulders back. See what works for you. Two more. Last one. Okay, hold it there. Tiny pulses. Squeeze, squeeze. So don't let the elbow come out. Keep pressing the palm to you. Tucking in the chin as you breathe. Keep lifting out the body. Just got eight, seven, six, five three, two, hold, and then release it down. So release the band, give your hands a little shake, interlace the fingers, press the shoulders back and down, tuck in the chin, open your body. And then we'll just round through the spine, feet at hips distance, hands into your thighs, push your hands, pull the shoulders apart. Just enjoy this opening for the back of the body. And then slowly rolling up, finishing off with a quick shoulder stretch, Bring the right arm across above or below elbow and draw the shoulder blade back and down, opening out the side of the shoulder. And then releasing the arm across, other side, drawing the shoulder back and down, opening out the body. So if you feel like you need longer to stretch, that's absolutely fine. Feel free to check out my other videos for that. Push your palms forward, release. But well done, a little bit of upper body conditioning. Um, any comments, feel free to always feedback and do go grab yourself some resistance bands if you don't have any. Super useful. Uh, hope to see you soon in a workout.